I learned the job description backwards and forwards. I mean, it's truly um, then aligning my background experiences what's with what they were looking for. I mean, I felt like that was really knowing yourself and being able to sell yourself. You, that's what I felt people were going to come in and ask me to kind of bring to life what was in that job description, and you know, coming in having it buttoned up about how I, you know, fit their needs, and ultimately that would help me separate myself. I went so far as like taking my resume and taking the job description and like mm -hmm. circling, all right, here's what they're looking for, here's the story that mm -hmm. tells that, here's what they're looking for, here's where I have that experience and really lining it up. And I think it's important also to your point to draw from the different experiences you've had even outside of school yep. because, you know, we've talked a lot about be yourself, be yourself, so not everyone's going to have X, Y, and Z that they've done in school to fit perfectly, but showing that, you know, I was on this team and I was in this club and I did these classes, I think mm -hmm. not only makes it more interesting for them, but it shows your personality a lot more and who you are. Mm -hmm. I consider myself to be a very balanced person. I had very broad interests in college, mm -hmm. I guess. So I, I studied Spanish, um, international business and finance. And going into the interview, I kind of thought that um, really all they're going to care about is wh what do I know about finance? Mm -hmm. So I should take difficult finance classes before I come mm -hmm. into this internship and I should know a lot about finance. And I got into the job and I was working in a marketing division, and I rarely thought about finance. Um, it was more so the general concepts that I've been learning in business school. I think look, use, utilizing the job description, but also mm -hmm. being able to read between the lines, because as you said, the job description doesn't always translate to what translate to what you do day to day. Right. It actually could be quite different. Mm -hmm. um, and so just kind of, that's when the uh, connections help. And when you talk to someone who's in the function day to day, and you can say, I know I do A, B, and C. That's my, those are my responsibilities. Mm -hmm. But you have to go way above and beyond those responsibilities to mm -hmm. really succeed in the company.